hello guys i just wanted to uh, discuss about polygon fill tool in substance painter right now i've opened a default sphere which is a sample file from the substance painter so i've opened and i've deleted all the layers which were there uh, you are aware that we can generally create a fill layer and then you can uh, edit it as you wanted it to be and then uh, as you could see I'm able to make it more metallic and then just get that nice result okay now the point is uh, how do I do the uh, polygon fill tool work so if you could see that the tools here are logged completely because this is a fill layer and whatever you can do is that you can do it from here so how do you use it then so if you could see this fill layer has got a base color of red so in this particular layer if i can add a paint okay and then you could see that layers are on now so here you could see there's a tool called polygon fill tool so select that now you should be able to see there are four different options in this polygon fill mode one is the triangle and another one polygon mesh and then uv so what is the triangle fill before that i need to select the color and then just uh, change it to something else um, and now if i just go closer to it okay you could see that lines and if i click anywhere you are actually painting the triangle okay so just click and then paint it so painting by polygons is what you can generally do especially triangles okay so just click and then you get the triangle painted so i am able to uh, get that nice uh, result there with this uh, method uh, the other one is basically the polygon fill this is not a triangle basically it's complete face you are filling this object uh, the color with so uh, it is generally used when you want to add some nice uh, colors to the faces okay um, it's like a face selection tool and painting it the other one is you have this uh, complete mesh fill so when i click the total mesh will be selected all that connected mesh will be painted the way you wanted it to be okay so uh, we have the uv fill uh, for that i'll open the uh, 2d and 3d at at same time okay 2d and 3d and you should able to see the uv arrangement of this uh, particular object and uh, sorry the 3d model and the uv arrangement <coughs> so let's say if i generally change this color to something else now uh, just i need to uh, click on any uv shell and that total shell will be colorized so if you have too many small small shells click click uh, will generally uh, take time so you can just drag and then paint it that's it so it's very easy to paint all that uh, pieces of objects just you need to click and then you get the result okay so how do I uh, take more control over this because you have only the paint uh, working for you what if if I want to uh, get something else like uh, roughness is not available and uh, we don't have uh, the metallic thing and all that so how do you manage to get this uh, result so in that case I would suggest uh, to try different method so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, assign a material here uh, which is uh, so yeah you got some it that doesn't look good so I'm just searching for some metals okay uh, which will generally suit this uh, object 
so you should see uh, I've got this nice smart material on the uh, model sphere now I don't want uh, this to happen on this object here okay so I want something else there or maybe I'll just put this layer on top of it and this is yellow and some part of the object should be yellow okay so how do I do that then so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this black mask okay so that brings up the mask then go to the object uh, sorry the effects and then go to the paint layer so as I told paint layer is what I need and then choose the polygon fill tool and then you can just uh, choose the UV and then white and black so white is generally opaque so I'm going to select uh, this object here and you should be able to see you got nice uh, variation here so all that material properties have been achieved on this so you can switch and you should be able to see that I have got a different material uh, to this objects and this objects so this is a very powerful way to you know uh, control things and lastly I will go for another smart material which should be maybe this uh, this steel I'll just put on the top there okay uh, now you know what to do just select that layer go to the black mask and select the black mask add a paint uh, layer and then go to the polygon fill and then make sure that you are in UV and then click it that's it and then you got the uh, materials wherever you wanted them so um, what if let's say you say you might be thinking what if if this polygon fill tool is not there in substance painter imagine that way okay if it's not there how you are going to do it so uh, in that case what you have to do is you have to select it and then go to the add paint layer okay you got the paint you need to select your brush and then start painting it over and it can take uh, ages when it is a complicated model and sometimes you may end up in uh, leaking outside and then you have to uh, carefully sit and then uh, paint the whole thing it can you know kill a lot of your time while you're painting it so it's it's definitely not a recommended uh, way I could see all that errors coming up so the best way is add the fill sorry add the paint and then select the polygon fill UV click that's it and life is so easy with this uh, method also explore uh, this polygon fill and uh, save your time okay